This is an easy way to paint cabinets. I have formal training in cabinet refinishing and I refinished cabinetry professionally for my clients for many years. Today we're painting the cabinets in my niece Jen's new townhouse and I want to show you the proper way to do it. These are the perfect cabinets to teach this method of painting because it's simplified. We're only painting the wood parts because the cabinet doors and drawers are mostly formica. But this easy method of painting follows the same steps if you're painting the entire doors and drawers. Step 1. Remove any fixtures or other obstacles that might be in the way. Step 2. Make a diagram to number each cabinet door and drawer and label each door and drawer with that number. We labeled these on the parts that won't be painted. Step 3. Remove cabinet doors and drawers. If you're removing more hardware than just the screws, put each individual cabinet's hardware into a plastic bag and label it according to the diagram that you made earlier. Step 4. Clean the cabinet surfaces. We're using this product to clean the cabinets. Take the extra time to do this because prep work means everything. Step 5. Lightly sand the surfaces to be painted. This is a sanding sponge and a fine grit. What I'm doing is I'm scuffing the surface with this in a swirly pattern. This takes off any gloss and allows the paint to stick. Step 6. Give the cabinets a quick wipe down using rubbing alcohol on a cotton rag. The rubbing alcohol gives a final cleaning, gets off any dust residue, and dries really quick. Step 7. Tape off any areas that need to be protected. If your current cabinets are real wood with a lot of wood grain, you should use a stain blocker before you paint. Otherwise, the wood tannins could bleed through, staining your finish. It's vital to ask your local paint store to advise you on which paint and stain blocker they recommend based on the type of cabinets that you have. It's finally time to paint. Step 8. Use a paintbrush to edge all areas where a roller won't reach. Step 9. Use a 4 to 6 inch roller to apply the paint. The smaller roller gives you much better control. And we're using a really low nap so we can keep the finish smooth. When painting a larger surface, such as an island, I like to roll in random directions. This will eliminate the repetitive vertical lap lines that often don't show up until after the paint is dry. For my clients doors and drawers, I usually use a sprayer system, but you can easily use a roller. A roller works great. A well-chosen roller and the right paint can yield a really smooth finish. Most of the time you're going to need more than one coat of paint, and you can lightly sand in between layers if you need to. Hey Oakley! Good girl. Step 10. When everything is completely dry, reinstall the doors and drawers using your diagram as a guide. Check out my other video to see how I created this stylish texture on this tabletop. Please like and subscribe for more practical ideas and money saving tips.